everyone, I'm Chloe. I'm a volunteer at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. And today during Splash Lab, we are going to be learning about ocean acidification by doing the OA in a cup experiment. Ocean acidification happens when water and carbon dioxide react to create carbonic acid. This carbonic acid decreases the pH of the ocean, making it more acidic. The creation of carbonic acid and other chemical changes in the ocean all fall under the umbrella of ocean acidification, which negatively affects the marine environment. This includes slowing the growth of clam shells, making breathing harder for larger marine organisms, such as sharks, and also decreasing the survival rate of larvae, which are the ocean's future generation. Most of the carbon dioxide that ends up in the atmosphere is caused by humans turning on the lights in their house, driving their cars, and doing other everyday activities. It is estimated that about 25% of human emissions of carbon dioxide is absorbed by the oceans. We use pH to measure acidity, so a lower pH means that a substance is more acidic, while a higher pH means that a substance is more basic. We measure pH by adding a special dye that changes color based on whether a substance is more basic or more acidic. We then compare the color of that sample to this pH rainbow to figure out what pH fits best. Some common household examples that help us learn about pH values are vinegar and bleach. So vinegar has a more pink color, which tells us that it is more acidic while bleach has a more yellow color, which tells us that it is more basic. First, we have to collect our water, so I'm down here in Bristol Beach in Falmouth, and we're going to go get our water sample. So I have our Bristol Beach water sample that I collected earlier, and I'm going to put some of this magic juice in there. It will turn a certain color and we'll compare it to the pH rainbow, and then I'm going to blow carbon dioxide into the water with a straw, and then we're going to compare the color again to the pH rainbow to see how the acidity changed. So I'm going to put some of our magic juice in the water sample now. So I'm going to put it against the white background so you can see it better. So if we compare that to the pH rainbow, it looks to be around an 8. So now I'm going to be blowing some bubbles into the water sample to put carbon dioxide into the water, and then we're going to put it to the pH test. So I just finished blowing bubbles into the water sample, which put carbon dioxide into the water. And as you can see, the water sample got a little bit more purple, which tells us using the pH rainbow that its acidity is now at a pH of around six, which shows us how the water sample got more acidic after I blew carbon dioxide into the water because the acidity decreased. Even though this water sample is tiny in comparison to the, an actual ocean, its pH change from 8 to a 6 is really drastic in comparison to what currently occurs in the ocean. But even the smallest change in pH in the ocean can have really harming and irreversible effects on marine life, so it's so important that we protect our oceans. It is our responsibility to take care of the oceans, and the more you know, the more you can help. Thank you for joining me in Splash Lab today to learn about the science behind ocean acidification. See you next time.